I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But I can upgrade mobs. So, for example, if I spawn in a level 1 strider, and then I throw a level 2 potion onto it like this... Then it'll upgrade into its crazy upgraded scary variant. And that's only the level 2 upgrade. I'll have a level 100 potion by the end. So, Sparky, are you ready to get this mob battle started? Yes, I am. I'm gonna make the world's best army. You're gonna make the world's best army? I doubt it, Sparky. And anyways, let the battle begin. And now that the battle has officially begun, we get to see exactly what mob Sparky spawns in. Because I've set up this massive one-way glass wall to cheat and what are these things it looks like he's spawning in these little rock monsters with super scary evil looking eyes i wonder why he chose these guys they honestly look kind of weak and wait look at this they all are turning into these super spiky balls and now they're attacking sparky wait this is so funny he's getting attacked by his own mob okay never mind ignore everything i was saying because these guys are actually very very strong looking they have a ton of very very sharp spikes on all of them their body. Well, since Sparky's army is ready, that means we can get to spotting in our army. And as you guys know, I have all of these crazy potions to help upgrade my mobs. And for this first round, we're just gonna have a level 5 potion. But as the rounds go on, we'll go to level 10, level 20, level 50, and even level 100. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so, so crazy. But like I said, we're starting with level 5. So let's choose a spawn egg to start with, and I think let's just go with a villager. Normally, villagers are pretty weak, but I'm pretty sure with this level 5 potion, you'll become 5 times more stronger, and that will mean we should get a very, very powerful mob. Let's just not waste any more time. Let's just see what a level 5 villager looks like. And oh, uh, Mr. Villager, can I just throw this on you? And oh... Why? Oh my, what is this? Well, I mean, I know what it is. It's a level 5 villager, but I did not expect it to turn into this thing. Okay, wait, let's just compare this to a normal villager. And oh my, he's trying to step on the villager. You are literally the same kind. Oh, what is even going on right now? Just look at how much bigger he got. And wait, what is he doing? He just picked up and ate that villager. Okay, I was just trying to admire how powerful this guy looks. But it looks like not only does he look powerful, he is very powerful powerful. Look at what he can do to the villager. He can just pick him up and eat him in two bites. What am I watching? Wait, I gotta see this guy fight like 10 villagers at once. Look at him. This is just like he's eating tiny little bugs. But in reality, he's just eating himself basically. But Mr. Level 5 Villager, I need you to stop eating these villagers because I actually want to throw a few more potions. So let's spawn in four of these villagers like this and we should have five Level 5 Villagers. Let's throw the potion! And boom, it worked! Look at how insane this is. And thankfully, these guys do not attack each other, so that means we have a big army that will all be able to fight together to take down Sparky's army of these little rock creatures. Yeah, these guys just do not stand a chance at all. Anyway, Sparky, how is your army going on this first round? My army is doing fantastic. They are so great that they've even started to terraform my side of the arena. Wait, really? Does that mean your mobs are placing blocks or something? Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I guess that sounds pretty cool. My mobs can't place blocks, but what they can do is a lot cooler. And anyways, are you ready to drop the wall, Sparky? Yes, I am. Let's do this. Let's go, and Sparky, do you see my ginormous creatures I have spawned in? Whoa, what are they doing? Are they eating them? I think so. Look at this. They're just picking them up like little candies off the floor, and he's just eating them whole. No, don't eat them. They're not chocolates. Well, I mean, they do kind of look like chocolates, and I would definitely want to eat these if I was a giant cyclops too. No, stop. That's not how you're supposed to fight. And wait, some of your mobs just rolled off the arena. That is so sad. They don't even want to fight my monsters. I mean, like, I would do the same if I was about to get eaten, though. Yeah, I would not want to get eaten alive and wait a second. Did I already win this first round? That was so fast. Ugh, I mean, like, my, my mobs didn't want to be eaten, so I guess they took the easy way out. Yeah, they definitely did. And anyways, I guess we can just move on to round two already. Are you ready to go? Yes, I am. 
let's go and boom now we're on round two but remember guys do not leave the video because this is only just getting started we still have so many levels of potions we get to throw and speaking of levels of potions let's get rid of all these other potions and prepare for the level 10 potion okay this should be way stronger than last round but wait it looks like sparky's already spawning in his army and what on earth are these things it looks like it's a mixture of chickens and is that like a dinosaur tail on it uh this is really really weird and there's also some of the orange chickens i don't know what's going on here and wait look i think sparky's trying to feed his animals right now he's just spawning in a bunch of pigs wait that's not good he might actually be making his army stronger by feeding them pigs okay that means we're just gonna have to make sure we spawn in a very 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 strong mob to counter them and then of course we'll throw the level 10 potion onto them what spawn eggs should we start with i mean there's just so many options but i think we should start with a super cool custom modded boss instead of just starting with a thing that's already in the game so we're gonna start with an iguana enemy and if you guys don't know what the iguana is basically it's a very very poisonous lizard that's been mutated with a human so it can stand on two legs and look at this they run towards you so fast and they bite you and poison you oh that is super scary i have nothing to fight these guys i gotta go and create a mode before they kill me but anyways as you guys can see these are gonna make a very very cool level 10 boss and i'm betting they turn into some giant mutated version of what they already are and hopefully they become a lot lot bigger with a lot lot more health and a lot lot more damage anyways let's just stop wasting time and let's throw these potions like this come on please work and did it work and oh my screen's shaking and oh it definitely worked look at these bosses that were just created oh my gosh okay they may not be as tall as my last mob but look at how big their arms are and are they like super enraged or something they're just looking through this one-way glass and they're just staring at sparky's army and what on earth i think they're trying to attack them through the wall uh guys the mob battle hasn't even started yet and you're already trying to kill sparky's army okay that's how you know they are super duper strong and that's how you know that they will do anything to win this round i guess that's what the level 10 potion does to a mob it just makes it super super angry but it looks like sparky's actually building something in what is this wait there's a sign here that says free chicken wait a second i think he's just made a giant chicken statue and that's actually kind of messed up considering his army is made out of chickens okay hopefully his army doesn't try to eat this chicken statue because that would be a little bit messed up but anyways i think my army's ready i mean three of these iguana king monsters should definitely be able to take out all of these tiny chicken monsters and anyway sparky my army is ready what about yours my army is doing fantastic i built them a giant chicken bone and i'm feeding them loads of chicken and pigs wait really that sounds pretty cool what is your mob though why would you want to feed a chicken oh uh, it's uh it's half raptor half chicken wait that sounds crazy it's half dinosaur and half chicken but wait why are you feeding a chicken then uh, no reason no reason at all okay that's a little weird sparky but anyways are you ready to drop the walls yes i am let's do this let's go and sparky oh my gosh and do you see how crazy my mob is oh my gosh why does your mob have tusks well sparky it's because it's a giant mutated lizard and that means it has some crazy poisonous attacks yeah well it seems one of your lizards kind of jumped off the cliff oh that is not good i guess they might be a little stupid but anyways i have two left and i think i am still completely winning this right now oh no my army's doing a lot of poison damage uh i guess they are doing a little bit of poison damage but they are dying really quickly and you only have like five of your mobs left oh come on fight oh your mobs are not fighting too well right now sparky and a bunch of them are dying and wait why are my mobs attacking each other stop guys why are your mobs spawning tiny iguana guys i don't even know i guess these are their little minions that they're spotting but anyways i think this is your last chicken over here and it is about to get knocked off the map come on no wait i have one more left wait you do have one more left i didn't even see this guy over here he's just trying to hide from all of my super scary iguanas but now he's running in i think he is going to get completely decimated right now no no don't die please oh this is so scary for him and oh my yeah that was really sad he just kind of dropped cooked chicken oh my gosh these guys are just so angry okay i think we gotta reset the arena before they destroy everything yeah i guess so let's go and boom now we're on round three and that means our potion is going to level up once again this round we get the level 20 potion this is gonna be so 
cool. And then the next round, we get level 50. And the final round, we get level 100. Oh, I cannot wait for that. But before we do anything with our level 20 potion, let's see what Sparky's planning on spawning this time. And oh, what are these things? It looks like he's spawning in some of these really creepy robot warrior guys. I've never seen this mob in my life. It looks like it's made out of like prismarine or something. But wait, it looks like they're attacking Sparky right now. Oh man, look at all of them bunched up, just slowly creeping towards Sparky. I bet they just do so much damage. If Sparky gets hit one more time, he's probably gonna die. And oh, I guess he can take a couple of hits. And oh, never mind, he just died. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. But since these guys are made out of that prismarine block, they probably have a lot and a lot of health. So if our mob doesn't do a lot of damage, we are definitely done for this round. Let me think. What mob does a lot of damage and is super strong that would be able to counter these guys? And oh, I just thought of it. I know exactly what to do. And the mob I've spawned in is a wither. And if you guys don't know, the wither is basically one of the strongest normal Minecraft mobs. But of course you guys know that. He can just shoot out a bunch of crazy homing missiles from these three heads he has. And of course he can also fly, which is gonna give him a huge advantage over his enemy because you'll just be able to fly above them and shoot missiles down towards all of them. But of course, we're not just gonna have a normal wither. Oh no, no, no. We're throwing the level 20 potion onto this guy. Meaning this guy's about to become 20 times more powerful. Let's just throw the potion now. And what did that turn into? Oh, oh my gosh, what is this thing? Well, I can definitely see how it came from a wither, but this is absolutely disgusting. It has those three wither heads kind of just dangling off of it with these weird tentacle things. And then it has its main head right in the middle. And oh, that is disgusting. Look at it. It looks like it has like charcoal teeth. And it looks like this main part of his body is made out of this netherrack block. And oh man, I gotta see this guy's attacks. Let's just go and survive mode real quick. Is he gonna do anything? And oh man, he's like screaming right now and he's flying too. Uh, oh my gosh, he just landed on the floor and threw blocks everywhere. And what is going on? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta go and create a mode quick. Oh, that was close. And what is he doing? He is absolutely insane. He just blew up a bunch of my arena and set the entire thing to fire. Well, if there's one thing I can say, I am very, very happy this level 20 potion worked and made that wither 20 times more powerful. We definitely are not gonna need another mob this round. This guy is going to absolutely tear through all of Sparky's army. And speaking of Sparky, it looks like he's building some sort of prismarine castle for his mob. Wait, that is actually really cool. I guess maybe I should build something too to motivate my army to win this round. And I'll just build something super, super quick with commands. I'm just gonna make a giant netherrack throne for my mob. I'm just gonna go around and paste all of these giant blocks of netherrack and I'm just gonna make the coolest throne ever known to mankind. And boom, we are done. And I guess that's not really looking like a throne, but it does just look like a giant netherrack cave. So if my guy ever wants to take a break from battling, he can just jump up here and just take a nice little rest in his home environment. Anyways, I think my army's done. So Sparky, is your army done? My army is finished and they're just relaxing in their awesome prismarine temple. That's cool. You built a structure for your mob. Well, I also built a structure for my mob. Whoa, that sounds awesome. Yeah, and I think that means we're gonna have a very, very even match for this round, and I definitely did not cheat at all to make my mob stronger. Uh, <laughs> I'd hope not. Yeah, I would never cheat, Sparky. And anyways, are you ready to drop the walls? I am. Let's do this! Let's go, and oh man, you're already done for. I already know I'm about to win this round. Oh no. I think my army might be a little stuck in the water. Oh yeah, that's not too good for you, but for me, that's really good, because that means my mob can just snipe them from up on top of the castle. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to help them out a little bit. Wait, my moms can't even fight. Oh my gosh, what are they doing? I think they're just kind of broken because they're robots in water, which is not a good environment for a robot. Yeah, but like, even if they weren't broken, how are they supposed to reach this mob? They're just on the castle. And oh my gosh, now they're actually doing something and our mobs are actually having the final duel right now. Look at this. Why is your mob able to fly? It doesn't have wings. I know, it just has a super strong jump, that's why. And look, he's inside the castle now, and he's just doing so-
so much damage to all your mobs. Uh, my mobs are doing quite a bit of damage, too. It took almost 100 health away. I guess that's true. I didn't expect your mobs to be so powerful. What are you guys doing? He's right over there. <laughs> I think they're too slow to even attack my mob. The only time they get damage on it is when he gets up and close towards them. And wait, do you hear that sound? And oh my gosh, all of your mobs just died right in front of my eyes. Oh, uh, okay. I guess they did take a lot of damage. Yeah, and I think my guy just did some crazy roar attack because I just heard a massive roar and then I saw all of your mobs die. Uh, I should have made stronger robots. Yeah, you definitely should have made stronger robots and also I don't think this castle helped them at all. Anyways, are you ready to go on to round four? Yes, I am. Let's do this. Let's go. And now it's time for round four of the mob battle. And that means we have our strongest potion yet. It's time for level 50, baby. I cannot wait to make our level 50 boss. But of course, before we do that, let's see what Sparky's gonna spawn in just to make sure we can have a perfect counter for his mob. And what is he holding? He's holding some sort of spawn egg. And what on earth is that? These things are massive. And oh my gosh, he just spawned one inside of the build he's making. This guy is suffocating in the wall right now. Oh, okay, there we go. Sparky just freed out. But anyways, these guys are extremely powerful looking. And it looks like they're powered by some sort of purple crystal on their back. I'm pretty sure I've seen these mobs before. And I know they are extremely powerful with their magic purple crystal attack. Yeah, just look at these guys. I would not want to mess with this guy in survival. But since we have a level 50 potion, I'm not worried at all about these guys. I mean, we can literally spawn in the worst mob ever. And we will still get an absolutely insane mob to come out of it. And actually, why don't we just do that? Let's just spawn in like the newbiest mob we can think of. So what's like the worst mob in Minecraft? Um, let's just spawn a tiny little fish like this. And oh my gosh, this guy isn't even in water right now. He's just flopping around. Okay, there is no way this guy would normally do any sort of damage to any sort of boss like Sparky has. But of course, since we're throwing the level 50 potion onto him, we are going to be fine. And oh, he just died. Okay, let's just throw that off the map and spawn another one in. And anyways, let's see what a level 50 cod looks like. Let's go! And oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Okay, the last thing I was expecting a COD to turn into is the most powerful boss in all of Minecraft. Because this is the Cosmic Fiend, which is the god of it, of the entire universe. And he can basically just destroy anything he wants and just kill anything he wants. And that basically means we just have an instant win. Yeah, Sparky doesn't even stand a singular chance. Like there is literally a 0.000001% chance he wins this. Like, I am so confident we are gonna win this. And because I'm so confident we're gonna win this, I guess we can just already start this mob battle. But then again, I, maybe I should just spawn in more of these guys just so we can get an even faster win. So let's actually just spawn in a bunch of these COD monsters all around here. And then let's get our level 50 potion and let's make a lot of these Cosmic Fiends bosses. Let's go! And okay, it worked definitely. And oh my goodness! Look at this! This is an absolutely crazy mob army right here. And keep in mind, this isn't even the level 100 potion. We still have next round, which is gonna be even crazier than this round. Okay, I have no idea how we're gonna top this, but I guess we will. And our mob army's ready. So, Sparky, is your mob army ready? My army is pretty much ready. And Sparky, do you think you're gonna win this round? I mean, yeah, I've used these mobs before. They can pack quite a punch. They can pack quite a punch. Well, my mobs can definitely pack quite a punch. And I think they're gonna punch way harder than your mobs. All right, we'll just have to see. Yeah, I guess we will see. Let's drop the walls. And boom, Sparky, the walls have dropped and the battle is beginning. Whoa, what are those things? Why are they attacking each other? I don't even know. Okay, maybe I should just teleport them all back down here and oh my gosh, they're still attacking each other. Uh, guys, can you stop attacking each other and attack the enemy? Yeah, I, I, I see one that's still there, but he's not really doing anything. He's just, uh, he's just vibing. Yeah, I don't really know what he's doing at all. Never mind. Now he's doing stuff and I think he's trying to attack your mobs. Whoa. They're doing so much damage. I know and this is only one of them. I have like 20 of these guys and even a single one is absolutely decimating your army right now. Whoa. That's, they're destroying the ground. I know. I guess they could just destroy the arena and I'm pretty sure these guys can break bedrock too. And oh, yes, they can break bedrock because he just destroyed the arena and all your mobs fell down. Uh, I guess I lose by default then. Yeah, I guess you do lose by 
to fault, but even down here, all your mobs just died and fell in the void, meaning I definitely just won that fourth round. Why can't he even break bedrock? I thought that was invincible. Yeah, I thought that too, but this is the cosmic god we're talking about. It can basically do anything it wants. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Anyways, are you ready to move on to the final round? Yes, I am. Let's do this. Let's go. And oh my gosh, I cannot believe Sparky has not caught on to what we're doing yet. We have had some absolutely crazy armies. Like that round, we had 10 cosmic gods, which I'm pretty sure is just impossible to do normally. But this round, it's going to be even crazier. We've got the level 100 potion. This is the moment we have all been waiting for. And like I said, it does not even matter what we spawn in at this point, just because I know we're gonna win. And what is Sparky doing anyways? It looks like he's spawning in a bunch of villagers, and he put a sign down saying normal villager day. Wait, what's he gonna do? And oh my gosh, he's spawning in mutant zombies. Look at these guys. He just wants to terrorize these villagers, I guess. And I guess that also means that Sparky's army is going to be mutant zombies, which is, which is normally a very strong mob. But of course, since we have the level 100 potion, these guys are basically just ants compared to whatever mob I'm gonna have. And speaking of the mob I'm gonna have, let's just actually spawn something in. And I wanna do the same exact thing as last time. Let's just get the absolute worst mob I can find. And what is the worst mob I could find? Um, and I guess an endermite might actually work. If you don't know what an endermite is, it's basically just the ends version of a silverfish. And they are super, super weak. I mean, just look at this guy. I could probably kill him in like three punches. Yeah, this guy sucks. But even though this guy sucks, he's about to become a thousand times more powerful with the level 100 potion. And let's just go absolute mayhem. Let's spot in like a thousand of these guys and throw all the potions. This is going to be insane. And did it work? And oh my gosh, what is this? Cardi, what is happening? Uh, okay, this mob battle might be a little bit canceled, Sparky, because, uh, yeah, the arena's just getting destroyed right now. Oh my gosh, what even is this? How did I get all these Wither Storm bosses? I, uh, how, am I, how is my army even supposed to fight this? Yeah, they don't even stand a chance. Do you just forfeit? Because I don't think you're gonna be able to win this, Sparky. Uh, I don't think I have a choice. Yeah, you definitely don't have a choice. The entire world's getting corrupted right now. There's just a thousand bunch of blocks just flying up towards my bosses to make them even more powerful. Uh, how is anything supposed to fight against this? I don't even know. My game is so lacky too. Oh, okay. Well, Sparky, I guess I just won the fifth round. Yeah, I guess so. Well, since I won the mob battle, I'm just gonna kill everything so we can actually do stuff and there we go. Everything should be dead. Well, Sparky, I won the mob battle. You suck. I, I, I suck? How'd you even get that? Uh, well, Sparky, I actually do have something to admit to you. You see what I'm holding right now? Uh, it looks like a potion. Yeah, every single round of this mob battle, I've had a custom potion, and this is the level 100 potion to make the strongest mob ever. Oh, okay. So you made something to level 100. All right, that makes more sense. Yeah, and what happens if I throw this on you, Sparky? Do you want to stand still? No, no, please, no! And Sparky, oh, I am sorry. Oh, everything hurts. Oh, what is this? This is really, really sad. I can barely even hear what you're saying. Your voice is so deep. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm sorry. I don't think I can actually fix you, Sparky. And yeah. Anyways, everyone, please subscribe to help Sparky. I'm trying to hit a million subscribers. Everyone, thanks for watching the video anyways. You just click the video on the screen, subscribe, and oh, man, I gotta help Sparky. I, I just gotta go. Bye. Uh, breathing hurts. Uh...